Hey guys, my name is Fape and welcome back to the Great Famine of 99 in Banished. Bad news, we still have tons of people that are gonna die today. Good news, we're gonna reach year 100 today. Which was the goal for quite a while now. Yeah, we lost a lot of people, that's for sure. We are harvesting most of our crops early in summer. I think that I'm... Did I start harvesting all of them right now? I might have at the end of, epi of last episode. I don't quite remember. Anyway, it's not gonna be fast enough to get to the people anyway. So we are gonna lose more. We're probably gonna lose all of those 80 and go down to a population of... Maybe we can keep it above 500? That would be really nice. Ooh, why is it so slow all of a sudden? I don't know why I slowed it down. Um, I can just pause if it's necessary. Look at that. Look at it! We are losing people. Let's get a few teachers out. Um, I hope we're gonna have like a ton of... I just don't want to lose any farming people. Let's get some vendors. Man, there are a lot of people gonna die. We are not gonna be able to maintain all our farmers, that's for sure. I don't need that many traders even. Everyone is dying, although we have a tiny bit amount of food in our stores, it doesn't matter. That doesn't matter because it's not at people's home. And people, before they leave their home to get some food from somewhere else, they're just gonna starve to death. Yes, we are gonna we are gonna have to subtract people from the farmers now. That's just how it is. It's really unfortunate, but that is how it is. We can't sustain all these farmers anymore, there's just no way. I mean, I can try as long as I possibly can. But there's no sense in it. Look at all these people dying. Come on, farmers, get at least... Ooh, trading post. Pause the game. Chicken sheep. No need for those right now. I don't know where I should take people away. To be quite, quite frank. Everything that's not really necessary has been taken off duty and the farmers are the ones that are gonna suffer now because those are the most people. Still have a ton of fishermen, but they bring in good food too. So I don't wanna take them out of out of the job. Okay guys, so the only hope that I have right now... <laughs> let's not drop below 300 before year 100 because... That would cost me the achievement. There is the main achievement. Have a population of 300 people after 100 years. And if I get screwed over by that now, I'm gonna be upset. But it looks like it's gonna stabilize itself here in a second. A lot of farms will probably only have one worker on there. But they still should be able to get at least a little bit of yield. And I hope that our reduced population won't be as greedy as the almost 800 people that we had before. 14 foresters seems like a good idea. Yeah, that's just it. That's how it all ends. In a blaze. <laughs> Wow, that was a really, really bad famine, guys. I think it's over now. But, man, look at these crazy graphs. God damn it, that was some... Some bad, bad resource management. It all happened so fast. It was only because we had a few years in a row of really really bad harvest because in a really good year we showed that we were able to produce up to a hundred thousand food and the maximum we used was maybe ninety thousand in one of the years usually around eighty thousand so in theory we had the capacities yeah infestation of course it's not that we don't have enough problems right now let's have an infestation in our crop fields <laughs> Splendid idea game. Really appreciate it. Steel tools. 
You know, I kind of want to try something. Ah, uh, maybe not yet. I still have a ton of steel tools. Uh, although we will need more. Nah, I'm gonna dismiss you next time again. Um, are you spreading infestation? I hope you're not. Anyways, guys, let's look on the bright side of life. Like always, right? Oh man, I'm short some clerics, huh? <laughs> Crazy times. Now it's the time for the nomads to show up, I would say. Perfect timing, wouldn't it be? Wouldn't it be? Wait, where are these all? Oh, is it that late already? Late autumn, no snow? Well, I have a severe lack of farmers, so... They're not gonna harvest all of it. But I think we'll get at least uh, enough food to hopefully keep the population we have right now. Our Golden Gate Bridge here. Beautiful. But yeah, we are gonna reach year 100 here very, very soon. Which will be the beginning of the end of this town. Late autumn. There's finally some snow. Hmm. I wonder how much it reproduce. 68k. Sounds reasonable enough. Way more than last year. Although we we are missing what is that a quarter? Not quite a quarter of our of our farmers. We still have way more way better of a harvest than last year. Cuz last year sucked. Last year sucked balls. Wow. But I think, I think we are not gonna drop any lower. We have our reserves, everyone is getting food again. We are really low on firewood now. Let's get some woodcutters in here. Oh, only one of them died? Hmm. I expected more. Yeah, we really could use... Ooh, do you not have anyone? I guess we need some herdsmen. What don't we need is the question. Hmm. <laughs> I would say... I don't know, it feels like we need every single of these people. Maybe let's cut a few herbalists to get some herdsmen. To get at least these guys. One out of two, two out of two. Why are two out of two? You can go away. We need you here way more. Anyone else who has two out of two and doesn't need him? Yeah, you don't need him. Bam. There we go. Now at least all the pastures should have one herdsman at least. So our animals don't die in vain and we can at least get their food. To help out our population. But yeah, that's... <laughs> that's gonna conclude. The... The, the history of our town, the ironstone mine here. Crazy, hasn't it been? What a crazy journey. Episode 59 is what we're in right now. And I'm gonna... I'm gonna go up to episode 60. First of all, because it has a nice number. Second of all, next episode we're gonna talk a bit about the future of Banished and on this channel here. But I wanna, don't wanna get into it quite yet, because we are still working on this town as we speak. Hmm. Hmm. Should I? Nah. You know I kinda wanna start something here. I want to start accumulating a few... Let's do that in the other trading post. Talking about it. I wanna start accumulating slowly a few warm coats in here slowly of course but I want to start it oh is it already oh it's late winter and it's so warm why can't we have these kind of winters when we are not when we are not so much down in population huh I would love to have these kind of winters when we had like a really big population and we needed the warm temperatures to get our food together oh there it is established that's it, the achievement for having 300 population. Oh, we barely made it above that, actually. After 100 years. Wow, it's kind of crazy. Look at this. We dropped 
down to about 400, we lost half of our population there. That was the, by far the greatest famine we had so far. Wow, that screwed us over. A lot. Okay, let's see how the first few years after the 100 threshold will do us. And... Then, I think we'll have to leave this town. To leave this town on its own and see what it becomes. I don't even get the 400 grape achievement. Okay, guys. Let's do this. Now, I want to just go for achievement hunting. I don't, I don't want to go for anything that's future safe. I don't want to secure our population for the future. I simply want to reach some achievements. And one of them I already started up is the um, export, I think is it called? Something with export. And it is to have, uh, what is it? 500 ale. We need to get 500 ale. So I'm gonna open up, um, let's get some farmers in here. Hi, can I set a priority higher for those apple ore carts? Because they don't seem to have like farmers. Um, I'm gonna start up here and make these down to only one per crop field. For right now at least. Maybe that already helps getting people on the ore carts. Uh, not quite yet. I don't know exactly how the, al how the algorithm works. It distributes our people. But yeah, we need apples to get tons of ale. We need 500 ale. Um, to, for this achievement we need 200 warm coats and we need 300 steel tools. And this is why I think I'm gonna trade some, some logs and stuff to the next trader and get steel tools. Just not to use them, but to actually store them in, an, in a trading post. I think we can cheat the system like that. At least a little bit. Uh, let's get those guys in here. Are we producing apples now? Still not on one of them. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I would really like some nomads. I gotta admit, some nomads now would be really nice. We need the people working on stuff, that's for sure. Uh, we are really short on those people. And people are still dying of old age. Oh well, I think, I think it will just take a little bit of time. Um, for our population to get back up into his rhythm. I think we'll grow again, but very slowly. So what I'm going for right now, actually, is getting a whole buttload of food. So that's why I keep all the farmers in business. In theory, we don't need as many farmers on the crop fields to, to sustain our population, our small population. However, I'd like to have that many just because I like to have a huge surplus when I take them to take the tools away from them and when I take a lot of other stuff away from them I really ooh there they are hello my friends 114 ha no problem for us there we go again let's fill them in to their jobs Okay, I hope I can sustain those guys. Not, I don't wanna, I don't want them to all to die. Okay, this will cost us a bunch of tools, though, unfortunately. So this will take away from our trading goal. What other achievements do I have on my list here? Let me let me read some to you, um, so you guys know what we are aiming for. We have 900 citizens. Not gonna happen. 400 graves. Probably not gonna happen. Um, then the trading one, then we have one for 60 cattle, 75 sheep, 180 chickens. That is one that's gonna be hard to do and it's gonna take some time, but I think I wanna do it. Um, I think I want to make you sheep. Let's get some herdsmen in this place and some more farmers. We're gonna have tons of food, that's the main goal. Get all the food supplies ready again and also get some foresters. So we have all the diseases. Let's get our physicians back in place. What is it? Yellow fever. The nomads and their diseases. Always the same with those guys, isn't it? Um, 
Okay, let's see. What is it what we need? I think we could use some iron. Uh, although, we could just trade for it. If we produce enough wood. Oops. Woodcutter. And let's fill these all in. That should get us places, hopefully. Okay, with these nomads, they'll definitely help us improve our living quality quite a bit. And it didn't seem like they took too many tools out of our storage, which is nice. We have still a ton of iron left, which is very nice indeed. However, I don't have any coal to make steel tools, which is the problem. But yeah, we reached the year 100. I hope you guys enjoyed the journey so far. And... We are almost, almost done with this town. It's kind of sad, actually. I, I really love this town, and I wish I could have completed this whole map with buildings. But you might have noticed already, there are more and more frame drops, where the frames go down to like 17, 19 frames per second. And I think the game has already a hard time loading everything, especially when all the people are... Ooh, we are not even at... Uh, Five times the speed, yeah. At one time the speed, everything is fine, but when I speed it up, there's a lot to calculate for the game and and cannot always uh, handle all it. But I think we made it this far, and I think that's good enough. 100 years. I haven't seen any other YouTube YouTuber uh, make it up to year 100, although I haven't really searched for the really good banished players. Just from the people I know that played Banish, they didn't even make it close to year 100. So I'm proud that we made it this far. I can't say that. I'm really proud and... As I mentioned... I hope we can get some nice achievements still going. Let's do some Herbalist. We are pretty low on herbs. Herbs! Look... Oh! Wow! We are still really low on food! Kinda crazy. We had a huge production last year. And we are still pretty low. I think it's time. Late summer. Okay, they're already starting to harvest. That's good. Do you have some steel tools for me? Exactly what I need right now. You can have... You know what I'm gonna do? How many... I'm gonna store all the items down here. Let's see. Steel tools. How many do we need? 300. So let's see if we can trade... 300 steel tools with this guy and store him in our trading post again What do we need for 300? A lot a butt ton of resources Okay, let's see um, Let's give him yeah, we have ton I'm not a big fan of giving him all our iron because I would like to produce some ourselves, too But maybe we can give him 200 of it and Let's give him some mutton we should have enough food here soon. And almost enough chicken. 24 units. I can pay the rest in logs. Yep, let's do this. It's gonna cost us a whole bunch. But I think it should be enough. Where's my stone? Let's turn that down a little bit. We don't need the stone in here right now. Um, where's the iron? Iron, iron, iron. Let's let's make it 200. I think that's good enough. All right, what are we low on? What does it say? Reason on food. Oh, what? What are you talking about? 14k. That's more than enough. The harvest set it is settled in. So I hope the production is going to be as good as last year. If it, that's the case, we should be more than fine. We should be more than able to sustain our nomads here. All right. So let's see what we have what we have. We have 10 ale. That's not a lot. We have 115 in the stores. Why is it not brought over here? You know why? I think because we don't have many traders. Oh, we lost people again. And that's not what I like to see. Mum says a cure. Did people die? That's another disease again? It's kind of crazy. Two different diseases in one year. Um... I don't want to take away from the farmers too much. Let's take a few fishermen away, I'd say. And get some traders so they can at least transport the stuff. At the same time, we shouldn't probably not... 
neglect some of the other professions here. There's the winter. That's a really early winter again. Come on, are you kidding me? In autumn? That was not necessary. That really wasn't necessary. 10 AL, 0, 0. We'll see how long it takes our friends to bring this stuff in. Oh, come on, that ruins our whole harvest! Okay. You know what we are gonna do? We're gonna take a few away and fill back up the fishermen again, because they at least bring constant food in. I want to know what our supplies say about the leather. 400 and the wool. 160. So our tailors should make warm coats because that's what I want to trade. I need warm coats in here. Okay, I think that should be good. That should do the trick. Okay, I think all our harvest is done here. Yep. I'll have to use the good old double shift technique again and get our laborers working in other places. Um, let's fill up the traders. Let's fill up the vendors just for the winter. Um, let's fill up the stone cutters because uh, stone is a very good trading good. Let's fill those guys up. That should do it for now. Yeah. Let's fill the rest into the mines. There we go. Remember, Fabe, to put them all back in spring. <laughs> you see the algorithm working right there. See how it calculates all the time? Who's working where? Wow, it's crazy. Oh. Hello, sir. Seeds? Never. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna call this episode of year 100. Hope you guys enjoyed the journey, as I mentioned. And next episode, we're gonna hunt a few more achievements down. And we're gonna talk about the future of the series. So make sure to check back for episode 60 of Banished, because I'm gonna tell you guys some very interesting stuff. <laughs> Alright, I'll catch you all later.